We all know Final Cut Pro is awesome for editing video, but did you know you can also use Final Cut Pro with its powerful built-in tools to edit still images? In this video, we'll take this still image and turn it into this using only the tools available in Final Cut Pro. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right into Final Cut Pro and take a look at how to use it to edit still images. Press Command I to open the import window, select your image and import it into Final Cut Pro. Press Command N to make a new project and click the Use Custom Settings button. Give your project a name and open the Video Format drop down menu. In this example, we'll make a square image for Instagram, so select Square and choose your video resolution. None of the other settings matter, so just leave them as they are. Click OK. Select your image in the media browser and press E to add it to your timeline. Press Shift Z to fit your timeline to window. First, let's resize and reframe our image. Select your image in the timeline and press Shift T to select the transform tool. Use either the on screen controls or the transform controls in the inspector to scale in on the image and reposition the image to get the framing you want. Press Enter to deselect the Transform tool. Next, let's add a basic color correction to our image. Press Control Command 1 to close the media browser, Command 6 to select the color inspector, and Command 7 to show video scopes. From the View drop down menu, select the Single Scope view and select the Luma scope. In the inspector, open the Corrections drop down menu and add a color board correction. I'm not going to go too deep into this, so we'll just add a simple color correction. First, let's add some contrast to our image. Make sure the Exposure tab is selected, grab the Shadow Spot, and while watching the scopes, slowly drag it down until it traces just start to touch the zero line. Grab the Highlights Spot and drag it up until the traces start to get near the 100 line. Depending on your image, adjust the Midtone Spot to either darken or lighten your image. Next, select the Saturation tab, and bring up the master saturation pack to add some more color to your image. Here's our image before and after a basic color correction. Let's add another color correction, this time to change the color of our subject's hat. Open the color correction drop down menu and add a hue saturation curves correction. Locate the hue versus hue curve and click the eyedropper icon in the top right corner. In the viewer, click and sample the color you want to change. Back in the inspector, you get three control points in the hue versus hue curve. Select the middle control point and drag it up or down to change the selected color. Let's make our subject's hat orange. For our next step, we'll remove and replace the background in our image. Press Command 7 to hide the video scopes and Command 5 to open up the effects browser. Select the masks category and drag and drop the draw mask tool over your clip. Zoom in on your viewer window and add control points to outline your subject. Try to be as accurate as possible here. Click on the first control point to close your mask. Everything outside your mask gets removed from your image, but we still have this gap between the subject's arm and his body. Add another draw mask, select the invert mask checkbox and add control points in the viewer to cut out this gap. Command 5 to close the effects browser, Command 1 to open the media browser, and Command I to open the import window again. Select the image you want to use for your background and import it into Final Cut Pro. Grab your imported image, drag and drop it down into your timeline and place it under your clip. If necessary, use the transform tool to resize and reframe your clip and add a color correction to more closely match the two images. Move your playhead to the start of your clip and press Ctrl T to add a title. Enter your text and in the inspector, adjust the appearance and the size of your text. Now to place this text between your subject and the background, simply select the title clip in your timeline and drag it down to place it between the two bottom layers. Here's the image we started with, and this is our finished result. All done in Final Cut Pro and just using the tools included. No add-ons or plugins necessary. And last, let's take a look at how to export this as an image file. 
click the share button in the top right corner and select add destination. Locate the save current frame preset and drag it into the destination sidebar. Select your preferred file type and close the destinations window. Click the share button again and select save current frame. Click next, choose your save destination and save your image. I do realize doing the same thing with dedicated image software such as Photoshop can be both faster and easier. But if you don't have Photoshop or just don't know how to use it and don't have the time to learn, using Final Cut Pro is a great option. It has some awesome tools for this built right in to help you achieve the result you need. Try it out and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week.